My name is Brandon Corlew, and I'm an agent of change because I care about my community. You really have two great stories here. You have the story of volunteerism, which is hands-on Nashville. Um, you have the story of uh, Nashvillians uh, contributing their time and efforts to improve a community. And then you have the good story of uh, us being in a position to help people eat healthier uh, and to make healthy food available to people who would not normally necessarily have access to it. This is the result of the flood of 2010, almost two years ago where this area was underwater and you had um, a lot of homes that were severely damaged and da damaged to the point where they couldn't be recovered and they're also in danger of future floods. Well, as, um, as mayor of Nashville, one of the things I get to say is thank you from all the citizens in Nashville. Uh, this is a wonderful thing for our community to be, to be doing. I mean, one of the things we have to realize, government can't do it all and volunteers, nonprofits are key to a successful city and Nashville's blessed uh, and the flood uh, proved that beyond any, any measure, that we are blessed with citizens who are active, who want to participate in their communities and want to give back. Uh, and so these projects, which are going to improve the entire city of Nashville, are vital, they're important, um, and the work will, um, will certainly be welcomed and we're very thankful for it. My name is Tyree Williams and I'm an agent of change because I love the smiles. <laughs> I'm developing an urban farm. My name is Josh Corlew and I run Hands on Nashville's Urban Agriculture Program. I'm an agent of change. The urban farm started through a partnership with the Mayor's Office and Parks Department and Hands on Nashville to be able to reclaim some of the flood damaged land. We're really excited about the urban farm because it produces great benefits in two aspects. One, volunteer projects. We're able to create over 100 volunteer projects. Most of them kid friendly, teen friendly, family friendly. So Kids are able to come out with their families. Kids are able to come out by themselves and work with their peers. We're also really excited to be able to produce a lot of food. We planted over 100 fruit trees, and those will be producing things like pears and peaches, cherries, pawpaws, elderberries. Those will be producing food for the next 30 to 50 years once they're established. My name is June Wabara, and I am an agent of change. And being here today at the Urban Farms is really about making a difference in the lives of others and impacting our community in a significant way. You know, it's not just about today with volunteerism. This is one out of 365 days. It's truly about, you know, volunteering and getting involved, making a difference. Uh, knowing that no matter how minimal uh, time that you spend, that it makes a significant impact. And uh, so I would encourage everyone to get out, volunteer, make the commitment, uh, bring your friends, bring your family, bring your co-workers. There's nothing more that has more impact than giving back. It's a happy time and everything just so beautiful. And I just, you know, it's not, no place like home. I don't care where you go. And I just um, thank you all for helping me out. I'm just glad that God sent all you all to me. I lived here in this house for 47, no, 40 years. And uh, I, there's no place like this place but home. This is my home. I'm Brian Williams, President and CEO of Hands on Nashville, and I am an agent of change. Two and a half years and 600 plus homes later, the work continues and that work is able to continue because of the enormous effort and incredible power of volunteers. I've helped restore 600 plus homes. Well, the reason that I got involved and the reason that it has been important to me is just the overwhelming nature of this disaster. It was so huge and it was so devastating that at the individual level, it was, you know, it was just something that you couldn't imagine dealing with. I'll just sing it to you then, all right, here it is. <laughs> we ain't kicking it inside, we ain't kicking it outside. We're just sipping moonshine, watching like chicken fries. Degrees? So good morning everybody. Thanks for coming out on this cold, uh, sunny morning. We started uh, working with these homes and working in primarily North and East Nashville to make them more energy efficient. Grilling. I think it's a good thing for anybody. 
just makes you feel good. You know, it makes you feel like you've done something for somebody who really needed it and couldn't afford it. <laughs> Speaking of. Now we ain't kicking it up town. We ain't kicking it downtown. We just would like uh, I forgot the word. Do you like the song? Go ahead. Here we go. So we ain't kicking it up town. We ain't kicking it downtown. What are the words to the song? We just front folks We just front folks. done service projects before and mission trips and things like that where you know the labor was involved and, uh, but you really don't have to have any experience to, to come do this you know you just kind of got to have a uh, helping heart if you will and uh, just kind of the will to just kind of help people and uh, you know a lot of people here didn't have any experience uh, doing anything and I, I've, I've never uh, done some of the stuff I've done today and uh, you know the leaders here are very good about teaching you what to do kind of showing you the rain. It's just an overall great, great program, a great experience. So I would encourage everybody to take part in at least once. It is a terrific, it's a pleasure that they have come to give me a happy day. I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to pray for them. I hope you have with other people. Because I can't afford it. Truly a blessing. God sent y'all. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Hands on Nashville Day 2012. This is the largest one in the history of the organization. We've got 2,000 volunteers spread across 58 school sites throughout Nashville, which is just amazing. This is a great community. It takes everybody working together to make it even better. It's a great community spirit here because every citizen on a beautiful like day like today is giving back, making it better, making it even better. So that keeps Nashville awesome. I'm Michelle McVicker. I'm the principal at Buena Vista Enhanced Option Elementary School, and I'm an agent of change. Today, I'm painting a stairwell, and I'm cheering on an outstanding group of volunteers who are here working and giving their time in my school. Yes, we have uh, volunteers working on three primary projects. They're working on um, revamping the playground for us, uh, working on the outside grounds and mulching, weeding, uh, pruning trees, all kinds of exciting outside work. And then we have some painting going on inside in the gym, in the cafeteria, and in the hallways. It, it was perfect for us because when we arrived at the school, the school didn't have any power. And so we had to uh, show some agility, which is one of our uh, corporate uh, virtues, and uh, get power run up here via generators and still get the work done. Well, Granger's been in the national market for over 50 years, and, and we like to give back to the, to the communities in which we live and work. And, and this Hands on National Day is a perfect opportunity to do that for us. And we're honored to, to be the presenting sponsor uh, for the last five years. What's amazing for me to see about the agency's growth over the last two decades has been how every couple years a whole burst of creative energy comes in. When you get a new wave of uh, people signing up and taking leadership roles and they come up with new ideas, whether it's an urban farm or you name it. I mean, just how it keeps amping it up. And um, the other thing I love to see is if I'm in a grocery store and I see a Hands on Nashville shirt, that's pretty cool. You know, um, knowing that we were there at the very beginning and now that it's just such a, such a household name in Nashville. What I hope happens today is that, you know, you've got 2,000 people out volunteering around the community. I hope they see, A, how easy it is, and B, how much fun it can be, so that this doesn't become just a one-off. You know, I mean, that's great about Hands on Nashville Day, but I, ho I hope and I really pray that a lot of these people walk away thinking, that was so easy and it was so much fun. I need to make this a part of my life every month. Just like going to the gym or anything else that's part of your daily routine, Hands on Nashville makes it so easy uh, to plug in. Um, there's really no reason not to. I'm Hal Cato and I'm an agent of change.